Hello and welcome to the second tutorial on hardware integration in Juventus. And what we are going to talk about today is uh, the sensors and controllers of a company called Fidgets, or these devices are uh, called Fidgets. And the device we are going to talk about today is the encoder, device that reads uh, encoders like this. These are rotary encoders, they have either a shaft or an adapter to hook it up to a stepper motor or to other devices that move or that move objects. What you can do with it is, for example, if you have a look at this, this is moving screens and uh, you can have content that adapts to the movement of the screens. Uh, you can also have something like this and I'm quite sure you all know all the projection thing it is going on. And uh, you can hook it up to the motor of this car turntable and can track the movement of the car on this device. And the first thing you have to do is you have to get the uh, .NET library. It's a complete SDK Fidget is providing for that. You go to programming and you download the C Sharp libraries, go to quick downloads and then you choose the 64-bit Windows driver installer. I already did that. It's this here. We are going to walk you through the installation as well. Accept. Yes. It will automatically uh, get the libraries into the global assembly cache which we are going to talk about later on. And So when the installation is completed, you should also get the example files. So if you go back to the controller, you scroll down and you also download the C-sharp sample files. I already did that as well. It's this here. And if you have connected the encoder to your uh, PC and you start the encoder test application, uh, you see this window here and uh, if you start turning the shaft, you see numbers pouring in, position, speed, relative change, and stuff like that. What we concentrate on is the encoder position. And, and to show you this, we are going to switch to Ventus. At first, we have to add a script node, C sharp script. Uh, next, we have to add the reference to the uh, Fidgets library. And we go to GAC assemblies, right click, and then you either scroll down or press the P button to go directly to the uh, P section. And there you choose the Fidgets 21.net library. Now we add the two main namespaces, which is Fidgets and uh, Fidgets events. As we are using the encoder, we create an encoder object. Encoder. All the initializing stuff is happening in the script method. We create uh, a new encoder object. Dot encoder. To get notified whenever the position of the encoder has changed. We create a position change event handler and we call it encoder position change. Then we open the encoder. And to be on the safe side, we should also take care of attaching USB encoders after the scene has started. It's also very important to close and uh, get rid of the object as soon as we dispose the scene. Therefore, we close the encoder object. And in the second step, we also get it out of the memory by nulling it. For the last step, we have to scroll down to the bottom of our script and right under the generate method, we create the encoder position change method that is called every time the position has been changed.
we create an output. It's an integer and we call it position. As the encoder object can handle multiple encoders at one time, we have to select which encoder we want to uh, get the position from. Therefore, we reach into the event arguments that have been passed along and select e.index and pass that into the array. And whenever there was an update, we also have to inform all our connected nodes. We also do a test compile, no errors here, save and close. With the script nodes still selected, we go to outputs, activate the live view, and if I turn the encoder shaft, you see the data is pouring in. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you next time.